Hello friends, today we will discuss the STEAM concept for process design engineering. In this STEAM, con STEAM concept series for process design engineering, we will be discussing and uploading the videos for what is STEAM, and the concept of critical point, the concept of triple point, and the concept of a specific heat capacity, and the concept of a STEAM phase diagram, enthalpy of water and sensible heat of water denoted by HF in steam table, enthalpy or e enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat which is denoted by HFG in steam table, enthalpy of dry saturated steam or total heat content of dry saturated steam and denoted by HG in steam table and the calculation of steam dryness fraction which is denoted by X and isenthalpy isenthalpic process and steam calculation, isentropic process and steam calculation and understanding of steam tables and how flash steam is generated and the calculation of amount of heat generated by flashing the steam and some conceptual examples and finally the steam jet ejector thermal compressor design calculation where you will get the basic fundamental understanding of how to size the equipment based on the based on the STEAM concept. So here we will not be discussing only the theoretical aspect of these concept. We will provide you the design intent concept of uh, these definitions and how to do the STEAM calculation by uh, listening our uh, YouTube video about the STEAM concept series. You will be able to do any, any kind of or any type of STEAM calculations used in the design industry. So this is about me, this is Lokesh Kumar Singh, CUMD Petro Horizon, Oil and Gas Engineering Private Limited and this is the brief about my qualification, education and my experience and I am the founder director of Petro Horizon Oil and Gas Engineering Private Limited and you can visit to our website www.petrohorizon.com. You can also visit our Facebook page. Uh, Petro Region Oil and Gas Engineering Private Limited where you can get more information about our hiring, our training programs and our YouTube videos and all. So come to the point, what is the steam actually? When we heat water, so water temperature start increasing and it approaches to boiling point which is called the uh, saturation temperature of water. So water molecules attain enough kinetic energy to escape from the saturated water surface into the space above the surface of water before falling back into the liquid surface. So when this happens, this is a start of saturated steam production. So when the number of molecules leaving the liquid surface is greater than the number of water molecules returning to water surface, then water freely evaporates. So at this point water is fully saturated and reach the boiling point or saturation point. Because water is saturated with, with heat energy means no more heat can be absorbed by water at this point. So supplied excess heat will be utilized for steam generation. If excess heat energy supplied is divided by water, if excess heat sup, uh, heat supplied will uh, is divided by water latent heat of vaporization this gives amount of saturated steam produced so if pressure of steam remains constant and we keep on supplying additional heat to water then saturated water temperature will not change on the other hand this excess heat will be utilized as a latent heat of vaporization to produce the saturated steam of same temperature as saturated water temperature. So what is saturated water? When heat, when we heat water at some fixed pressure then initially water temperature keep on increasing. Once the water reach its boiling point at that fixed pressure then water is saturated with heat energy. Means no more heat can be absorbed by the water and it is called as a saturated water. It means now the water temperature will not increase by further heating. This excess heating energy will be used to produce the saturated steam at the same temperature and same pressure as boiling point of water at that fixed pressure. 
So you should understand that at fixed pressure the boiling point of the water is fixed and the steam produced will be the same as the boiling point of water at that pressure. So let's say example uh, at one atmosphere pressure boiling point or saturation temperature of water is 100 degrees centigrade then further heating of water will produce one bar absolute pressure saturated steam at 100 degrees centigrade. Water temperature will not change will not increase beyond 100 degrees centigrade at one bar pressure by keep, keep on heating further. To increase the water temperature beyond 100 degrees centigrade means like boiling point or saturation temperature. So we need to increase the pressure of water holding vessel either by keeping the steam outlet valve closed while heating or applying external pressure by some means. That's the way we produce the high pressure steam. So now there is a concept of saturated steam because you might be thinking there what is saturated steam. So when steam is produced and it is at same temperature same temperature and pressure condition that of the saturated water then steam is called saturated steam. If the steam temperature is more than the saturated water temperature at the same pressure then steam is called superheated steam. The temperature difference between the superheated steam temperature and the saturation temperature of water at the same pressure is called degree of superheat means if you see the temperature of saturated water and you see the temperature of superheated steam and you, if you calculate the difference between both the temperature then this is called the degree of superheat. At atmospheric pressure 0 bar gauge or 1 bar absolute the saturation temperature of water is 100 degrees centigrade. However, if the pressure of steam generated vessel is increased this will allow the addition of more heat and an increase in temperature of water without change of phase means without starting the steam production. So the relationship between the saturation temperature and pressure is known as the steam saturation curve. Steam at a condition above saturation curve is known as superheated steam means if the steam is somewhere above this curve the temperature uh, steam uh, condition is above this curve so the st uh, steam produced is known as superheated steam and the temperature above saturation temperature is called the degree of superheat of the steam. So these are our petrol horizon offering for petroleum and chemical engineering students. So we provide one month value added training courses and the six month engineering design skill development training and placement assistance courses and we also provide assistance for that uh, project design work for the chemical petroleum and mechanical engineers for third year and final year students and the project cost and time uh, depends on the student choice of design project. So we provide three days demo training and awareness classes at the Harun Training Center before taking decision to join our training programs. So our registration are open since 5th May 2017. So you can contact us on this uh, email address mentioned here and the phone number mentioned here. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated with new videos. It will encourage us to upload more videos for your knowledge and design concept. So we will continue this STEAM concept uh, uh, series. So keep watching our YouTube videos and subscribe our channel to get intimated. Thanks a lot for watching our YouTube channel videos. And please uh, comment us, like us and if you have any demands for videos please write to us. We'll try to upload videos as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye.